give me this beautiful chance to do this. So, as usual, uh, we will start from our general evaluation. And uh, I'd like to say some good things about what we have done great so far. And so far, tonight, today, the room for today is very big, and it's enough to fill everyone. And we have armrests today. <laughs> Uh, the two bars behind your chair, so you have you, so we can rest on arms there. And uh, tonight we have very inspiring speeches. Yay! 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 Give them a big hand. And also we have a very cheerful and interesting <laughs> TME Styles. That's very good for tonight. And we have a happy birthday party. Surprise! Yeah, very good. It's a very good way to make people think that, well, this is a warm and beautiful place to be in. And we also ask for volunteers during the variety and uh, the, what's that called? Table topic, right? Yes, the table topic session. Yeah, it's a good way so that the new guys, they don't, they might not be willing to raise their hands, but they also got the chance to speak. Very good. And also, after smiling, yeah, good, 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 I'd like to slap some faces and some suggestions. Uh, for each speaker, you really, really, really don't need the thank you and good evening, everyone, every time you speak. Because that's the TME's job, not your job. You just have to focus on your speech, your, your, your speech. That's enough. And uh, please, try using a microphone. Because not everyone is as loud as... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we are saying like this, those people in the back, they might not be able to hear you, right? Yeah. yeah, they're not responding. <laughs> so try using a microphone. And yeah, because in the future, you might not have just, just a room. You might have an open space when you're talking to like 2,000 people. Then you have to use the microphone. And uh, oh, Tammy, please, uh, when you're saying the title, you don't have to change it. Like uh, my personal story, you don't have to change it to his personal story. <laughs> because you're repeating the title. And yeah, for each speaker, please try reducing the use of PowerPoints. Reduce it. Like, for example, Janet's speech. It's touching. It's very inspiring. It's informal. Uh, no, no, I mean informative. <laughs> informative. <laughs> Sorry. But she didn't use any PowerPoints. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So PowerPoint is not a key. You are a key. The speaker is a key. And why am I using PowerPoints? Because there are too much, I can't remember them all. <laughs> Sorry for this. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, we can also try to like from other clubs for fresh new ideas. And uh, for each of the members here tonight, please be punctual because we are 22 minutes late. It's all because of you cannot arrive at 6.30 sharp. It's not because of the president, it's because of you. So please, please be punctual. Make it as your personal challenge. Okay? And uh, oh, for each of the speakers, please rehearse the PowerPoints and the hardware. There are hardware problems everywhere. Uh, power projectors go down, PowerPoints cannot load, microphones have no sound. Every kind of, every, every part could be a problem. Try to rehearse it. And so that's a general evaluation. Time for a language evaluation. For a good usages, let's say, yeah, frankly speaking, it's a very good way when you're trying to say something bad to someone. Like, uh, for example, if someone asks me, like, how's this stress? <laughs> um, <laughs> frankly speaking, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's a very good opening. It's show time. It's a very good phrase when you're trying to start a show, start a song, start whatever you want to show, it's show time. Mom said that. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very good usage when you are trying to refer to the past, to the not so immature yourself. You can say that, well, mom said that, uh, no, 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 I cannot do this. But try not use this word often when you're after you're like in college. Yeah, okay. Journey ends in lovers meeting, good usage. And the absence makes the hearts grow thunder. Whoa, I can never think of this usage by myself. But be careful, these are quotes. Uh, if for those of you, if you cannot see the PowerPoints, uh, leave the mail to like the EP or someone. Uh, uh, I, I, you, you can share it. I can share it to you. It's no problem. Just listen to me. It, it, it is fine. Uh, when you're using the quotes, sometimes it's not very easily to apprehend at the first, at the first time. Like, 
uh, accents make a hard growth center. Uh, at first sight, at the first second, I was like, huh? And then by the second second, oh, okay. So try to speak a little bit slower so that your audience can understand what you're trying to convey. He that travels far knows much. Yeah, very good quote. Very good. Uh, the speech value is more important than the punchlines. Yeah, this is very, very, very true from Molly, right? Yeah, because for each speech, for it to be inspiring, for it to be effective, the point is the speech value. It's not the punchlines. Punchlines would be like, uh, the audience would go, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, good! And by the time they leave the, this place, uh, okay, what did he just say? They wouldn't remember it. But if you have a clear value, for example, like um, Hollywood's scam, uh, fake tales, that's something that the uh, audience would take home. Okay, that's the message. Also, occupation, occupation, a very good play on words. Good. Uh, putting them in a pickle. This is something new I pick up. When someone's in a pickle, it means they're in a difficult situation. So if you put someone in a pickle. You, have you seen a pickle? <laughs> and if you squeeze it in a jar, it's very tight and uneasy. So it means if you you are like in a sa like a sardine, like a sardine, like a pickle. Yeah, it's a very difficult situation. Yeah, after this we're going on um, both our ways. Yeah, it's a good way to ask for someone for a dance. Good. And soft to the ear, it means pleasant. But I'm not really sure about this one because I can't Google anyone else using this. So, auto rickshaw, the Indian cars, the Indian taxis, auto rickshaw. It's also called a tuk tuk. So, in Chinese, we call it tuk tuk tuk. Yeah. So, now comes to the pronunciation suggestions. Wall Street, Wall, Wall Street, Wall, Wall Street, Wall Street. It's a very minor difference, but it still makes a difference. It's like, uh, it's like when you're saying Mei Tian, but you're saying Mei Tian. It's a, there's a little difference, so be very careful about it. Barging, barging, bargain, bargain. <laughs> conservatively speaking, it's actually not conservatively speaking. You could say conservatively speaking. Yeah, conservatively speaking. Christian. <laughs> That's not a name, it's a group of people who believe in Jesus Christ. That's Christian. But we are having Christine. Christine, okay? Uh, okay, now come to suggestions. Oh, 30 seconds buffer. Uh, actually, we don't use buffer, we use leeway. Leeway. Leeway means there's still room. It's a, a little bit similar meaning to buffer, but it's the, just a different usage. Yeah, Lin, could you please explain the photos? Like uh, the, the evaluator told you, because when I was reading the photos, I was like, oh, photo one, photo two, photo three. But uh, aren't you going to explain it? <laughs> Those photos are good. They are. They tell the story. They are effective. But if you don't, well, that's another way of showing. It. It's like um, like an art gallery. You show the photos and you let the audience absorb it. But since this is a speech, you have the right to explain it. Yeah, you can explain. It. So you can try it. In my past life, when you say that, <laughs> it means you passed away. <laughs> You're in a break now. I, I don't want to hear you speak when you have passed away. You can say that, well, previously, last year, or when I was young, etc. Don't say when I, in my past life, still my mentee. Be careful about mentee and mentor. Mentor means someone older than you, mentee means someone younger than you or more inexperienced. Don't mix them together. Or it'll be like, hey, Bill, come here. <laughs> when he's your mentee. Bump into together. When bump into it, it means together. So you bump into each other. You don't bump into together. When you're together, you're together. You don't have to bump into. You are together. Okay. I'm a candle. So, go on and blow me. Never, never, never say it. It is dirty. Never, never say that. Never, never say that. Okay? Even if you are a candle. Even if you are a candle. Never, never say that. Unless you 
together with someone you love and you are both in the toilet room. Okay? Oh my God. Never Just say so that in public. Like, it will be woke. Can we? It's not good. Horrible movie? If it's a horrible movie, it's a bad movie. You literally wouldn't want to watch it. Unless it's a horror movie. It's scary. Okay, it scares you very much. Okay, it's a horror movie, not a horrible movie. Okay, I don't like dance. I don't like to dance, or I don't like dancing. Okay, I don't like dancing. I'm so confident. I'm so confident. When you're speaking of people, they are confident. I'm confident. But usually we don't say that to ourselves unless you want to encourage yourself. Well, it's yeah, then that's okay. GDP of a company? Well, uh, from definition, GDP is for a country, not a company, okay? If you, if you, unless there's only one company in your country, then it's okay. But usually GDP is for a country, okay? His and her difference, his or her difference. Like, for example, when I'm talking about Molly's speech and I say his speech, that's not good because there is a difference between male and female when you're using this word. And so comes to the last part of my personal suggestions. No matter which R or which A speech you're in, rehearse. The more, the better. The more you rehearse, the more people you, re you rehearse to, the more experience you'll get. The more you know how your audience will will change or will be affected affected by your speech. So try to rehearse. And also challenge yourself. Try different styles. Try different way of speaking. Try different way of telling the story. Try a new format and explore your potential. You might as well found out that, well, the audience doesn't need 10 haha points. They just need a very good story and a good take-home message. So enjoy tonight, enjoy life. See you.